Today's video is for the secret LB2XAC enjoyers. You know you're out there. Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to German Engineering today with the Stone Rhino Axum Hero Mech making its triumphant return with an 8 LB2 build that will allow you to dominate at long range and literally just pepper everybody with tons and tons of bullets. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. Also, the mech conveniently comes with its own smoke screen. As Gold Leader says, almost there. Added, mister. Target spotted. Target acquired. I actually got warm. Would you believe that? I actually got warm in here. Target spotted. Tap here under the shield of uh, the Delta 5 line. New go. target acquired. Atlas out of five. They are pushing our right side. Need assistance. Fox dot five. Really? Target spotted. Okay. Target spotted. Target okay. spotted. Moving to intercept then. Warning incoming. Missile. Warning incoming skill. Fox dot five. No. Target spotted. Warning incoming missile. Target spotted. Target spotted. I don't know, pushing. New target acquired. Target spotted. Target spotted. New target acquired. Okay, dude, now I've seen you. Oh, you are a persistent little bitch, right? My guys right now are covering none of the top spots. So they're aiding a lot of shots that we shouldn't be eating right now. And I can't focus on one spot right now. So might have to be here. Target spotted. Use this cover right here. Uh, that was felt it. Yes, yeah, so the problem is I have to deal with like 10 different sniper battles at the same time right now, which makes this very annoying. This little princess is still sitting up there. He's not doing so well on his atlas though. Nice. 
Nice, two shots in. There's the Atlas. There goes the Atlas. If only we had targets that were exposed for longer than half a second. <laughs> That's the Cyclops again. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target acquired. Oh, that's still alive. Target spotted. Okay, UV is done. New target acquired. Target spotted. There's a stick. Just saw another UV up somewhere, but I forgot where it was. New target acquired. Target spotted. Mm hmm, that rough next is looking so hot. That's good. I need to be far away from this tree so I can actually shoot properly. That's better. Alright, we're ready to receive here. If they push. So far, nothing. Target spotted. Target spotted. What am I shooting at? Target destroyed. Okay, he's dead. Target spotted. So many trees. Target spotted. There's another guy low. And we're losing this actually, we're, we're losing our mechs here. Guys, just fall back, come to me, I have overwatch. Just fall back, I've got overwatch of Fox 4. There's the Ghost Lord again. Little Hagger Man. Mr. Vindicator. I'm stuck on stuff. Not good. I'm gonna get overrun now. Now oh, we just got knocked. Have an Ari strike at this time. No, is he still up? Oh, come on, dude. So lucky. So lucky. What if we have one more shot? Ah, well, we did 1300 damage, we took a thousand. I think we did our job. Vindicator has one shot, situation. Run, little panther, run. Oof. That's the Vindicator. Come on, you can do it. Nice. Nice. Good shot. So, he took the information and he made the kill happen. Well done.
1 KMDD, 1229, dann 976 tanked. 6 Components, oder ihr Wicker? Eieieiei. GG. I wonder if I can still jump this there. I might not be able to jump this anymore now. The middle part maybe, but this part probably not. We'll see. I'll try. Fly! Fat Mac, fly! Nope. It's too high. Need to jump just for that. But I, can't, I think we can jump the middle part. Like this part right here because it's a little bit lower. I'll try. Yep, we're up. Alright, he felt that one. Only cost me 10% of my mech. Somebody's gaussing at me. This guy is. I'll show you what the German flag does. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to move now. I fell down. Up center. How about this guy over there? I should be able to jump up here, right? Maybe not. We'll try. Close! Yes, we're up! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What? From where? Warning. This guy. Ah, how does that feel, Shitter? <laughs> that? Ah, oh, that's not good. That's blue lasers. Ay, 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 ay. 82% king crabs still running around there. New I don't know where the uh, stuff sniper went, unfortunately. New oh, this guy's almost dead, though. The uh, mad dog, I think. Hey, I just wanted to mark the stupid target. Delta Force stuff down at us. Where's he going, though? Something back there. Target spotted. Center torso. Critical. 
critical damage. Mm. I have to play this super de super defensive now. Did we get up? Yes. And of course, he's got all his friends with him. Where are my friends? Nowhere to be found! Ay, ay, ay. Just a smoke over there. New target if he's plays it's nah he doesn't. Nah. Okay. Never mind, he's dead. For the matchmaking today? Yep. But we still did our job, guys. One kill, one KMDD, 11 out of damage done, 761 taken, 6 components. We still did our job. Well, that was a lot of fun. Here is the build on screen, guys. As you can see, we're running a standard engine 300. We have to use a standard engine because otherwise we couldn't fit 8 LB2X ACs in here. For precise, to be precise, they take all of the critical slots, so you have to go standard engine here, there's no other option. I got one jump jet in the mech, and then I just fill the whole mech up with ammo. Tons and tons of ammo, that's five tons right here, then we have five tons in the right arm, and another three and a half tons in the left arm. Enough ammo to start and end your own private war. That is what I was going for here. No extra heat sinks, you don't really need it. Uh, also, no targeting computer. The reason why we don't use a TC is because it explicitly stated that the TC only improves projectile speed for autocannons, not LBX. LBXs are specifically mentioned as being except from this rule. As far as the quirks are concerned, well, there's really nothing here for us except the 100% screen shake quirk that will allow you to save four skill points. Everything else is just critical hit chance receiving and some extra armor. And other than that, it is super straightforward. Find a nice spot, preferably somewhere up top. Use your high mounts to engage the enemy and have a lot of fun. I, you really need one weapon group for this mech to just shoot everything. But if you want to get a little bit more technical, you could basically have your mech left uh, one one left side weapon group, one right side weapon group, and maybe a third weapon group that just shoots the top guns, and that allows you to shoot over anything that you can just barely crest over with the uh, high mounts on your mech, but cannot shoot over. With these other mounts right here although like technically speaking if you can see it you can mostly hit it with all your guns that is the great thing about this mech it's insane it's a lot of fun and uh yeah i mean this mech i just i just love it a lot of people love the stone rhino axum
UAVs might be a little bit of a problem if they're close. If they're far away, I mean, you can just shoot them down. You've got a long-range flak. I mean, look at the range of this thing. With skill tree and everything, you'll be shooting at an optimal range of 1,035 meters. Now, mind you, it's two pellets per shot, and you've got to be splattering all over the place. You have the extra crit chances from the LBXs, so once you go through that armor, you'll be chewing up mechs in no time, and of course, taking out those sweet, sweet components. Great build, fun build, try it out, let me know how it goes for you. I don't know about you guys, I have the feeling that the Stone Rhino Axum will be back for a couple more builds that we've already been cooking up. Things will get very duckai. that's what this thing does, and does probably the best of all mechs in MechWarrior Online. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to say thank you very much to our beautiful supporters. I literally couldn't do this without them, and if you right there are not a supporter yet and would like to help out and say thanks for the videos, then check out the links in the video description, they will lead you to my merch store, to my Patreon, or of course, you can become a channel member or you can send us a thanks right here on YouTube. Whatever you decide to do, thank you very much.